one thing that I kind of wanted to pitch out to everybody, or at least a stance that I'm going to take, is I'm going to make this much less about the money that I'm making and more about the value proposition. Like, I'm, I'm coming down to the Bay Area now. One of the videos that I'm doing today before I leave is going to be kind of a, a four-point quick video. I'm going to do a buyer presentation video in the, uh, in the media booth. It's going to explain what makes, a, what makes a championship team. I'm quarterbacking you through your experience. It's knowing your property inspector, knowing your lender, knowing myself, and we're going to try to pick an escrow company that we know we're comfortable with that has good fees. Explaining that it is that group, that team, that's going to hold each other together for you through your escrow so that you know all of the pieces that are in play. You understand how your escrow works as a buyer. And I'm communicating value out of the gate and assembling a team for you before you've even written an offer. That way we can have in concert, you've got a property inspector, the lender, and an escrow officer, regardless of whether or not you actually get to use them. I always write my own escrow in just so that I can keep the highest level of control in my transaction. If they counter me on it, then I go with a different escrow. But right. if we can explain to a buyer in a video that those people are already together and here's how your buying process is going to work, it is less about the money. We go through that. It'll be a quick video presentation. In the end, it says, hey, as far as the new NAR rules go, we've got to sign a buyer broker agreement. As in the past, I try to make an average of 2.5% per transaction. It's negotiable on a case-by-case -case basis to be paid within closing costs, seller credits, or other means. Lender credits as well, right? So you've got to have a lender who's on point to be able to have your back of the buyer and say, hey, we can also do lender credits to cover that to minimize your out-of-pocket expenses. I don't want to sell them and structure them on how much it's going to cost. I want them to see the value that they're going to have and understand that there would be a cost with anybody they work with anyways. What yeah. I do is different. The value proposition is completely different. And now you understand out of the gate what it takes to get your deal done. I would rather communicate that in a nice shredder video that is done really well and get that point communicated in three minutes. And as soon as I have someone hit off one of the lead lists, they're getting that video immediately. I used to do it anyways, but not obviously not communicating with the new NAR rules. So yeah. can we get that point across out of the gate so it's a done deal and settled and we can focus on showing properties with the buyer broker agreement? I can send you that video and send you a PDF with the buyer broker agreement or a DocuSign link. All right, so that's the way I'm going to approach. 